Indian government blocks 20 YouTube channels for anti-India propaganda. On December 20th, the Indian government announced that 20 YouTube channels have been blocked for spreading fake news. The YouTube channels, as well as two websites, are blocked because they have been identified as part of a disinformation network based in Pakistan. The goals of these channels is reportedly to spread fake news relating to sensitive topics such as Kashmir, the Indian military, minority communities in India, and other topics uh, such as this. One of the biggest fears that the government had with these outlets is that they might undermine the Indian democratic system. Information broadcast The, the information and broadcasting minister, uh, Anurang Thakir, no, Thonkar, tweeted, quote, we have taken strict action against cross-border activities aimed to spread unrest in India by way of spreading fake news and propaganda. So, I, you know who actually told me about this? Hara Sultan sent me oh, a message. Wow. And he was like, Susanna, check this out. He was like, I wonder how much longer we're going to be up on YouTube. I was like, I, I, do, feel, I don't know. <laughs> I feel insulted. India banned 20 YouTube channels and we're not on the list? Like, what do we have to do? What do we have to do for us to be on this list? Um, so wait, 20 YouTube channels and websites. So like, the, does the 20 include only the YouTube channels or? No, so 20 YouTube channels and, uh, and then two, uh, websites two websites for a total of 22 blockings, I believe. Okay, our website is blocked. So how come we're not on this list? I feel like I need to be <laughs> I feel well, like because we didn't out. make it into this latest press release, I guess. <laughs> mm, I feel left out. Um, well, what's interesting is that they, they are saying that these specific websites and YouTube channels are part of a specific Pakistani-based network. And unfortunately for our Hindutva haters, we are not part of a Pakistani-based <laughs> disinformation network. So we were not included. So we need to be connected to the ISI. I don't know. ISI. I don't, I <laughs> I don't even make that joke. I fucking hate the ISI. <laughs> yeah, we're connected to the Mossad, so, uh, <laughs> Mossad, so I don't know. In our hearts. I don't know if ISI would take us, given that we already have connections to Mossad. Um, so, <laughs> no, but you're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how does this work? Is this like YouTube? Because you can't block channels on YouTube unless you're blocking the entire, like, there's, like, does YouTube work with India to make this happen? That's actually a good point. That's not, that wasn't something that was made clear in the research I was doing on this. Because, you know, um, in Pakistan, like, YouTube does have its own URL for, it's like, YouTube.pk, so that Pakistan can further regulate it more than other countries, right? I don't think that's the case in India. So it would be a lot more difficult to do these blockings across um, the in, in Indian market. Because like, if it was part of the URL that the channel was always embedded in the video URL, like that would be a lot easier, but it's not. Well, I mean, this would be very important information to have, like was if YouTube was involved in helping India for to ch to block these channels or not. Like we want to know if you YouTube is giving in to India's demands. This is very important. This is I think this is the most important part of this news that we need to figure out. I didn't see any thing clarifying that issue even from like, you know, um liberal or left leaning. Um uh networks in india or uh man where are my words today news websites guys you guys you guys can't keep guessing how a company's oh policy is going to be like based on their religion the ceo's religion or nationality like how simplistic do you guys have to be about trying to guess an entire policy of a company you you really think like People keep saying that about Twitter as well. Like, oh, now Twitter CEO is Indian, so this is going to help. This is going to 
change their policy. Like, but then they realize that because they say that because they think that he's pro BJP, and then they realize that he's a Muslim. So then they think that he like it has like some sort of leftist Islamist like um, amalgamation agenda. It's like, well, which is it? Like, pick your bigotry. <laughs> okay, you can say I was trolling if you do not add like a, a tears of joy emoji or a tongues out emoji. How could how could like given that this channel gets so many moronic comments you cannot expect your trolling to be recognized as trolling if you do not put like an emoji like you think like oh how could you not tell that this was a trolling behavior have you seen the comments that we get on this live chat okay so if you want to troll and be recognized as being trolling you have to like put the proper emojis um Okay, so <laughs> what? Armin makes a demand for emojis. What yes, I thought I was interesting emojis. was I was actually trying to look into what was blocked because obviously it's not blocked for me. And so, well, one, it, there was a language barrier. So it's a little bit hard for me to really differentiate like what it, are these like legitimate blocks? Are they actually spreading fake news? Like what's going on? And Actually, a lot of these um, websites were spreading fake news. So one of them was that um, like Erdogan had um, issued all these like mercenaries to go fight in Kashmir. Like others was that I think something like Biden put sanctions on India over like anti-Christian attacks, like all this so, like stuff that's like patently not true. And so it's really interesting for me to consider like how should the state act in situations like this you know like should they straight up block these things because in the u.s obviously we've had a huge issue with disinformation and our elections but and we have are so far away from figuring out any form of solution into it but a lot of it has come down to just bringing these companies before congressional hearings to get them to try to get their shit together and that hasn't worked too well but i don't know well how do you think a country should respond to something like this like what exactly? Like if there is actually legitimate fake news that's being disseminated that could have actual implica implications on your democratic processes. Because from their press release or what the government is saying about this, that is their mm -hmm. motive. You know, we're automatically skeptical of this the, the Modi true? government being okay. censorial. But in general, right, right. how would you deal with that issue? You know, I'm trying to think of this a little more objectively than just, oh, Modi government bad. Um, I would just do. I, I mean, I, I might be wrong about this, but I think the solution would be to put out a counter narrative and just like clarify, fact check. You know what I mean? Just put out the inform your own information out there, and just show why the why this information is wrong. I don't think there is like. I mean, the problem is that when you give. You know, I, I, I can understand why social media platforms will need community standards and have reasons to remove stuff themselves. But when government gets involved, I think the, the standards of, I don't think the government should get involved in removing content, even if it's like, oh my God, this is going to threaten this and this and that. I think like more thing, the democratic process would be more threatened if the government has the authority to decide what people get to see and not to see, and what they don't get to see. Do you know what I mean? Um, so, yeah. So, like, oh, this is this is gonna threaten the democratic process. Oh, yeah, sure. Let's now put the government in the position of deciding what's a threat and what's not a threat and what people get to see. Great. Now you are the <laughs> now now you're now this has become uh, you have achieved. The threat the, in damaging the democracy. It's not a threat anymore. You have you have arrived. The damage has been done to the democratic process. Um, I don't think the government should have that authority. That's what I think. Um, again, I'm not against uh, all form of censorship. I think like if you have a private platform, some level of community standard makes sense, right? Um, but government shouldn't be in charge of that. Um, does that make sense? Yeah, it's it's a really um, it's a really difficult topic. I don't even know if there is any good answer. Yeah, I'm open to change my mind about this. Um, I have a question: Can these YouTube channels be accessed with VPN? I don't see why not. 
can somebody confirm to us that these channels are accessible with VPN or not? Um, have there any, so so for us to get, for Atheist Republic to get in this list, the only way right now is, because here, okay, here's an <laughs> example, okay? So given that the BGP is saying these are, you know, Pakistani supported YouTube channels and it's a threat to the, the democratic process or whatever, right, in India, okay? Mm -hmm. But now that we, the government has shown that it's capable of doing that and it's legitimate for, for it to do that, at some point, you don't have to be connected to Pakistan for you to be a threat like they get to define clearly not yeah they they get to define what's a threat to the democratic process right and at some point we're going to be considered a threat to the democratic process i mean we and already our channels, have been our, our website i know but officially the basis of 69a and one mm. of the reasons for the secret blocking order of 69a is because they are deemed a security threat to india's sovereignty how was that any different than a democratic election integrity that sovereignty integrity these are both about the construction of the security of the nation mm -hmm. so i mean if that's what you're looking for we already made it baby <laughs> <laughs> this is why and you know what i'm gonna say okay this is why i can't wait for web 3.0 oh yeah <laughs> so, okay, I'm not gonna go on a rant. I know you guys. Don't like <laughs> this is so funny. Mogambo is saying, "Hey, man, why you want to get blocked? I just found this channel only yesterday." <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Well, Mogambo, okay. um, I hope you stay. Uh, please like this video and subscribe. And if yeah. we do get blocked, Hi. please subscribe to our newsletter. Link is in the description because um, the Indian government is straight up after us. So yes. um, if you subscribe to our newsletter, no one can take you, no one can take you from us. Okay, we will always be able to tell you where you can find us next. Yes, um, yes. Guys, this is very important. Thank you, Susanna, for reminding everyone. Make sure you're subscribed to our newsletter. Nobody can take that away from us. Okay, we own the list like we like it's uh, nobody can take that okay and wherever we are you will find us we will send you the where are we're uploading our videos next if you're just subscribed to our newsletter okay so make sure you're there thank you ghost bunny she's sending a link um and we have gifts we we come with gifts in our newsletter so when you subscribe you're like i just subscribed just to be able to stay connected to armin and susanna giving me like giving me their takes on the news I didn't know they're going to give me all these free gifts just because I'm in the newsletter. You're going to be like, ah, what? A, oh my God, it's amazing. This pleasant surprise. And some of the, some of our, some of our gifts are like books, but some of them are sexy. Okay. You're going to be like, you're going to, yeah, never mind. I was going to say a joke. You might get canceled if I say, um, all right. Don't subscribe to okay. our newsletter. So no one can take you from us. No one can take you from us. We, we I'll don't just always be right here with my heart. Oh. <laughs> All right. Uh, can we? I think that Hold might on. motivate more people to join the newsletter if they just imagine that they're just held right, right here next to my chest. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just like you're right here. I'll keep you safe. No. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're like eh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, being, I'm, I'm trying to stop myself from making um like i have so many things i want to say that are not appropriate and i'm just I'm just like i'm just resisting you know it's just like i know i'm not supposed to so just, vein yeah. popping out of the forehead <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah you're right guys we should get a sp we should get sponsored by nordvpn we use nordvpn um and people are saying like VPNs don't work. Like guys, we're not we're not sponsored by NordVPN. But when I use NordVPN, um, I get I get to access YouTube, no no problem. And I think you guys should use NordVPN. Like I'm recommending NordVPN without actually being without us being sponsored by it. We should get. I like, could apply should, for a, uh, the affiliate program. We already have the affiliate thing through the thing that we we should we sh okay through the same system. That we got the, the Wondrium affiliate. Companies use that system. It might be a separate 
platform. No, but NordVPN is part of it. So we should. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> so we should just use the same system to get the link. Like, why are we, guys? We, forget that we recommended NordVPN. Okay. <laughs> give Don't us a get few it. weeks. <laughs> give, give it. Give us a few. Yeah. Give us next week. Okay. Like, no, it's NordVPN. Not that quick. Is, Don't promise. It's that. not that good. Don't. It's not that good. Next week is going to be. Maybe we're going to change our opinions about it. Right now, it's not that good. Don't get it. By next week, when we have an affiliate link, maybe our opinions about it will change. Then maybe then you get it then. Wait until we get the affiliate link, okay? All right. There you go. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Ababi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.